Hey guys, I just wanted to uh, let everybody know that uh, we are doing really great in the YouTube department. Uh, we're getting a lot of views on our videos now. It seems like the algorithm seems to enjoy us. And uh, I just wanted to, to just, you know, brag about our Angry Gaboon Viper. Uh, it's at 242,000 views right now. And it seems people really like our Venomous stuff. Maybe not so much Jeremy, but uh, they really like this Venomous stuff. And I just wanted to show you guys that we did have a video on this Baby King Cobra you're about to see right now. All hooded up, looking extremely beautiful and uh, ready to eat. But didn't eat, eat in this video, but the video you're about to watch, you'll actually see this guy get to eat. So, enjoy the video. If you like this Venomous stuff, be sure to leave a comment. And, as always... Uh, hit the like button, because all you jerks that hit the, the dislike button, you're terrible. Nobody likes you. And what is going on in here? It is a King Cobra eating a stillborn retech. And uh, to start our kings, but, you know, nature intended to be snake eaters. So in captivity... It's certainly easy or easier for us to deal with rodents, but uh, they're really tricky as far as getting them to eat rodents. So as younger animals to establish them, you want to start, in this case, we're, we're using stillborn snakes. And luckily, I breed just enough snakes to from time to time have stillborn animals. This happens to be a stillborn retic, and it's part of the retic. So this little guy is eating this. So we waste very little and we're always recycling. But it's a cool thing. King Cobras are amazingly intelligent. Uh, they really, if you give King Cobra a chance when they're interacting with you, they want to maybe at the very least act tough and act scary, but they really don't want to bite you and uh, Cobra's defense is to act scary and intimidating and get whatever the predator is to uh, second guess themselves. And just that little bit of pause often gives the animal a chance to escape. And in this case, would be King Cobra would shoot you know, down a hole or into some uh, dense thicket where they can get away. And we even have you know, native snakes, let's say like black racers and stuff like that, will also act ultra defensive and aggressive and they'll just pretend to be uh, a bad hombre, so to speak, just to make the predator reconsider what it's doing and when it's pausing, the snake then takes that opportunity to get away. But uh, when we have an animal in captivity like this captive bred king cobra, this animal is, uh, at some point it's decided that People are not all that menacing, and that maybe uh, they don't really have to concern themselves too much with us. So if we're treating these animals with respect, and hopefully that's what we're doing, when we interact with them, not abusing them, not flinging them around, and not doing anything to hurt them, the animal, even though this animal's venomous and has the uh, equipment to cause uh, horrific injury, if we handle them properly, you know, utilizing our hooks, our equipment, and not showboating, you can have this snake that has respect for you, but doesn't really feel a lot of fear of you, and the same way where we need to have respect for them. But when we're interacting with them, and we're smooth, and uh, just behave in a way that the animal can kind of predict our behavior, you start allowing the animal to just consider us just another part of their environment, and the animal's thinking, it's not acting erratic. And that way you can have a really good uh, relationship with these animals. And ultimately, you know, you're going to keep this animal. This is the longest growing, or one of the longest growing venomous snakes in the world. Uh, I think they're reputed to be the longest growing. But we have, you know, tape ends and inland tape ends and stuff like that that also get considerably large. Uh, king cobras are highly intelligent. Uh, you can definitely work with the brain of that animal, and as they grow, they only get smarter. So if you are developing your relationship, like Timmy's raising these guys, so he's developing a relationship with these animals. These animals get to know Timmy. They know who he is. They know how he behaves, and he's consistent with his uh, interaction. So as this animal gets to be a larger animal, 
it's uh it's very easy to work with as far as you know venomous animals and it's reliable so as long as we adhere to what we're doing but we keep these animals uh pretty much for education well obviously we're enamored with venomous snakes and we're thrilled just to have the opportunity to work with these animals but the trick is to use these as educational tools for the public and to enlighten people about the purpose of these animals and that these animals are to be uh, not feared but to be just respected and realize that they are just truly magnificent and they are vanishing every day they are losing losing ground but this little king cobra just looks so innocent right now the busy part is being uh, taken up by eating the snake. So this animal is exhibiting a fair bit of trust for us as we're kind of looming over it, especially I'm sticking a camera in its face, and it's continuing to eat. So that means that the animal has assessed us, decided that we're really nothing to worry about, so it's gonna go, go about its business uh, eating its, its snake. And they have a very fast metabolism, but they'll take that energy from this stillborn snake and they're going to put that on the side so they grow rather quickly and this is definitely not a, a species uh, even for a venomous keeper uh, it's not a novice animal you really have to kind of have some of your husbandry dialed in and certainly your food sources and ultimately turning this over onto rodents at least partial of its diet to rodents and maybe snakes is our long-term plans for this but very, very cool. All right, we're gonna let this snake continue eating, but we're definitely getting a lot of interest in our venomous uh, animals, so we're gonna try to do more venomous videos because people seem to be uh, enamored with them, just as we are. All right, say goodbye.